Prescott Van Meyer III here, sommelier from home. Today is another big fan request, Rumple Mints. Now, I would never call any of the commenters annoying, but they are certainly delightfully persistent. So I felt like I had to do it to address those comments directly. Here it is, Rumple Mints. Rumple Mints is a peppermint schnapps. Schnapps is a spirit with German origins in it. Some of these recipes go back centuries. In fact, Rumple Mints claims that with this peppermint inspired beverage. So this comes in at a hefty 100 proof, which is 50% alcohol by volume. It's definitely gonna have the sting from the alcohol and the peppermint. I'm thinking that's why you kept recommending it. Double Trouble. That was a wrestling move in high school. The old Double Trouble. And speaking of Double Trouble, we've got this two-headed vulture. Both are wearing crowns with a crown behind them. So hopefully they're not fighting for the throne, but they're sharing it. A conjoined friendship. It looks like sharing the same liver and heart and wings. Hopefully they figured out how to fly, get somewhere. They must have, they wouldn't be wearing those crowns without that. So it's a textured bottle and this doesn't come in as that inexpensive. It's about $20 a bottle, give or take whatever region you're in. It says it's crafted with imported flavor. I don't know if that's in reference to Germany or the people in Germany import the flavor. I would expect peppermint to grow in those German hills, but maybe not. Just reminds me of my caregiver when I was seven years old, Mr. Schultz. He always had some peppermint schnapps on him. You could smell it. He and Aunt Karen were the best of friends, always disappearing with each other, leaving me alone to watch Sesame Street. Mm. Boy, they turned that TV up very loud and left the room, taking that peppermint schnapps with them. I hope they still stay in touch. German engineering, gotta love it. Pour's pretty thick. Yeah, getting a little Colgate, getting a little gum, the bottom of the desk, high school, half-eaten candy cane, sharpened to a point. Remember that? Just me? Smells like the beard on a mall Santa. Certainly a Christmas vibe to this, that's for sure. All right, let's give it a taste. Bit of a slow burn. Whew, pretty thick on the mouthfeel. Don't take this if you have any canker sores. I just have some canker sores because of my potassium deficiency. Certainly feeling that 100 proof. Mm. For something that has peppermint flavored, it's certainly not a friend to your feelings. <laughs> this tastes more like mouthwash than brown Listerine. <laughs> Nine out of 10 dentists want you to drink this, so they'll be seeing you sooner. The peppermint flavor is fairly mild and not overpowering. Pretty nice. Good job, Mr. Mintz. Mr. Rumple. Mr. Rumple Mintz, I don't know your name. It builds nice on the palate, has a little bit of a spice to it, but it's very pleasant in the aftertaste. You can definitely take shots of this and still make out. In fact, it might help matters. You probably even pass the breath test after a vomit. This is great for a boot and rally. Some people will get that. Boot is puke. Boot is puke. Puke and rally. A little bit of rumple mints. That was Phoebe's motto throughout college. She had her grandmother embroider that on a pillow. So, boot and rally. She scrubbed a lot of vomit stains off that pillow. I would pair this with all the worsts. Rat worst, liver worst, knock worst. Phoebe, she's one of the worsts. I would pair this with the food items in the back of the cupboard. Last year's old stuffing, maybe some canned homily, and gluten-free macaroni and cheese. You thought you had bought the regular macaroni and cheese, but you didn't. So you just tucked that in the cupboard. Forget about it until you really, really need it. I would pair this with going to a college party in a tweed suit. It smells a lot like mothballs. It got grandpa laid. Why won't it work for me? Stole the rumple mitts and the tweed suit from grandpa. He won't be missing it. He's asleep by 5.30. Just kidding, he passed in his sleep. A little Van Meyer tradition there, going in our sleep. Except my other grandpa, who was hit by a bus, who survived the initial accident, died in his sleep while driving his car to the hospital. You should not be driving if you're having major organ failure. Another Van Meyer tradition. <laughs> who would be drinking this? Well, hopefully wherever he is, Mr. Schultz. And Aunt Karen, she's definitely still drinking it. And you know, my cousin Toby, Aunt Karen's kid, 
who looks so much like Mr. Schultz. It's uncanny. Were they? Hmm. Were they banging while I watched Sesame Street? That's good for them. I thought they were just jumping on the mattress in the other room, which is what I wanted to do. But I wasn't allowed in there. Uh, that makes sense. Makes sense that the smells coming from that place too. It's like day old Thai food. For my rating, I'm giving this a score of Zweien und Siebzig, which is a score of 72 in the native tongue of Rumplemints. German. The peppermint is delightful, and for 100 proof, it's actually quite a smooth drink.